Hello everyone, this is Bamadele from Delarex Studios. Uh, you're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. Uh, this is uh, a request from one of my fans. He actually specifically asked on how to uh, update an Android um, um, source code or an Android APK, which is the version of the APK. You know, this is very quite needed when you need to change uh, some things in your application and probably it has been uploaded to the google play store you need to update it so you need to always change your version code without doing that google play is not going to accept the, the apk because it's going to conflict with the one in the google play so for you to do that you know there, there are two processes that you can actually use in doing that but before you need to update your version uh, or the version of your application you must have generated the source uh, the apk you generated APK earlier. I have a video called Android on how to generate an Android APK. I will employ you to go through that before you move into this video. So, probably after you might have uh, generated your APK, you, you would have had your sign uh, the store file, the alias, the password somewhere, uh, somewhere saved. So, you actually need that in also compiling this application. I have an application called um, Android Twitter. It's just a Twitter uh, login application in which I've, uh, I've already generated the the, uh, the 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 APK. I've compiled it and I've made it release in the release model. It's on 1.0 but now I've done a little change in it which I want to extend it or improve it to 1.1. So for me to do that, I can do that in my build.gradle with the model aspect or I move to my file the project structure okay i'll need to fill in some things here so that i can be able to finish up uh my uh my updates so in the properties i just will ignore that for now because i have them set up some 5.1 lollipop the build choose version is 22.0.1 okay let me move to my signing this is quite important uh, I need to bring in the sign uh, key, the key stop that I generated earlier for the version 1.0. Now I'm extending to 1.1. I also need it in also to uh, compile the application. So I call it, uh, I click on my add button. It's not config, uh, it's, it's called Twitter. Okay. The alias is, uh, is also Twitter. That's a key password for that. Okay, the stuff file now I need to search for where I keep the uh, the 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 the, uh, the stuff file. I think it is in my desktop. Uses. Uh, my desktop. Twitter. Okay, the, J, the JKS, quite very important. I click on OK. So I need a stop password as well. Okay, that's fine. I move to my flavors, uh, uh, the four configuration. I think that's okay. But now, very importantly, I have my version code and my version name. If the version code can be changed to two but i don't really have to change my version code now because i just did a slight change in the application it's not just that the ui or some major functionalities have been changed or a complete overall has made through the application but presently i just need to change my version name to extend it to 0.1 okay my build type i need it to be in a release mode not a debug because i'm generating it to the google play store my dependency, I think they're fine. The library is being called. They're okay. So I move back to my signing. I click on OK. Okay. I need I need a gradle synchronization, which is going to be which is going to happen immediately. So once the gradle synchronize, I have my uh, app released as 1.1. If you can notice, the version name has changed. It's on 1.1 now. So with this. You can get to the root directory of where your application sits, which is right here. My app release dot apk now is it has been re, it has been signed up to 1.1. So I can upload this file to the Google Play 
and it will be accepted as an update to the previous version of the application. I think with this list your analysis, you should be able to understand how to increment your version um, source code, your APK, so that it's not going to conflict with the. And this is this is just going to keep track of where you actually, uh, where you are in particular, which part of which version of the application is on store, which part version of, of the application is still in development. So with this analysis, you should be able to put your acts together and get yourself rolling in Android version control system. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, always endeavor to subscribe to my channel because a lot and lot of programming tutorials are coming to you. And I wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. Bye-bye. Thank you.